friends welcome to intech channel today we are going to see find the transfer function of electrical network in control system so here i am taking a simple electrical network i am going to find the transfer function before we are going to the problem we should now the basics um, what are the voltage in resistance capacitance and inductance so the equation of voltage in resistance and capacitance inductance if we know then the problem is very simple so here we are going to write the output equation and the input equation then we are going to find the transfer function which is laplace transform of output transfer function tf equal laplace transform of output v naught of s divided by laplace transform of input v i of s we want to find the v naught of s divided by v i of s so i'm first going to write the equation for v naught of s so is it is in time domain so i am writing v naught of t which is equal so here i am taking a two loop so mesh analysis i am going to analyze the mesh analysis this is one is i1 means this is i2 same as clockwise direction so here the voltage v naught of t is equal to v equal to i into r that formula i am writing i1 sorry here is i2 i2 into r2 which is in time domain so i am writing in laplace transform laplace transform of v naught of s equal to i2 of s into r2 this is my first equation for that the transfer function is v naught of s to the v a of s so i want to find the v a of s in terms of i2 of s if i find that means the problem is over so I am here going to solve this two mesh into a two equation. So I am writing the first mesh equation applying Kirchhoff voltage law. Kirchhoff voltage law in mesh 1. So the equation is voltage potential rise which is equal to sum of potential drop. Here the two elements are there. One is capacitance and another one is resistance which is common between 1 and 2. So I am going to write the equation in mesh 1 v1 of t potential rise which is equal to potential drop in capacitance 1 to the basic integral i1 of t into dt plus potential drop in r1 which is implies by the two current one is clockwise direction i1 and clockwise direction i2 so i1 of t minus i2 so then i am taking here laplace transform for that equation and simplifying so v1 of s equal to 1 to the basic integral means 1 divided by s so 1 divided by s in the c1 i1 of s plus r1 i1 of s minus i2 of s so here i am going to simplify and write the equation in terms of uh, i1 of s and i2 of s so i am modifying the equation r1 so i am here taking i1 of s is common r1 plus 1 to by plus 1 to by sc1 in the i1 of s these are the i1 of s coefficients then i2 of s coefficient which is minus r2 in the i2 of s minus r1 minus r1 in the i2 of s this is my first equation which is v1 of s here there is i2 of s term is present 1 but i am writing the another equation to eliminate the i1 of s because the i2 of s v1 of s in in terms of i1 of s one i2 of s only so i am going to rearrange another one with the mesh analysis of loop 2 so equation kvl in second loop second loop here there is no potential rise and i am taking three element r1 which is common between mesh 1 and 2 and c2 and R2 is in mesh 2 itself. So I am writing the equation. Here I am writing the equation R1, which potential drop is implies by I1 and I2. This I2 is clockwise direction, uh, the same direction and opposite direction by I1. So I2 of T minus I1 of T in the R1. Here the potential drop in capacitor 1 to the base in the integral I2 of T in the dt. Then resistance potential drop R2 in the I2 of T. So I am here I am taking Laplace transform. 0 which is equal to 
and I am going to rearrange this equation in terms of I1 of s and I2 of s in order with I1 of s and I2 of s. So I am writing rearranging the equation. So the Laplace transform, I find the Laplace transform and rearrange the equation in order to I1 of s and I2 of s from this equation. Now I have solved every equation. This is the first step for output equation and the loop equation. Then I am going to find out uh, the relation between V1, yeah, VIFS that means input voltage into the current in load resistance. So I am eliminating other terms that is like that I1 of S like other terms I am going to eliminate. So here I am separate space. So first I rewrite this equation into, uh, into the relation between I2 of S and I1 of S. Uh, from that equation R1 I1 of S I am here interchange are going to take the left hand side means the equation becomes just I am taking this into left hand side R1 I1 of S equal to then remaining terms then I am here want to find the equation I2 of S I2 of S we need so I2 of S equal to I2 of S equal to this term here come to the denominator so I1 of S in the R1 the overall divided by these R terms R1 plus R2 plus 1 by S in the C2 now I want to eliminate I1 of S which is in the equation 1 here the equation in I1 of S and also the I2 of S so I am putting the in this equation I1 of S which taken from this equation so I am going to rearrange the equation 1 in terms of I1 of S so I am this value I am taking the left hand side so V I of S plus R 1 in the I2 of S I am taking this equation into this side which is equal to R1 plus 1 divided by S C1 in the I1 of S so from this equation I need I1 of S I1 of S equal I1 of S equal V I of S plus R1 I2 of S divided by the overall divided by R1 plus 1 divided by S C1 this value coming to numerator sorry denominator value so from that I have substitute this I1 of S into the I2 of S so I2 of S equal I am substituting this I1 of S value here so V1 of S plus R1 I2 of S divided by into so R1 is a multiplied by both value divided by divided by this value and this value R1 plus 1 divided by S C1 into R1 plus R2 plus 1 divided by S C2 the overall value which is in from V I F S this is V I F S so here also one I2 of S term I am going to take the I2 of S as uh, left hand side so I am rearrange this equation if you feel to reduce this is a complicated one means you are just taking I1 of S which is equal to R1 plus R2 plus 1 divided by C2 into I2 of S divided by R1 then substitute in this equation you easily get V1 of S in terms of I2 of S then you substitute I2 of S into this equation we are getting V0 of S in terms of V I of S I am just reducing I am not uh, going to simplify this just reduce at the I2 of S write the directly I2 of S value so I am writing the equation I2 of S is equal to V1 of S R1 C1 C2 S square R1 R2 C1 C2 S square plus R1 C1 S plus R1 C2 S plus R2 C2 S plus 1 this is my I2 of S if you are uh, thinking this is a complicated one means you are taking I1 of S here as in terms of I2 of S that, that means I1 of S equal to R1 plus R2 plus 1 divided by S into C2 in the I2 of S overall divided by R1 that means I1 of S you substitute this I1 of S into this equation you just get V1 of S in terms of I2 of S then you are putting this I2 of S into this equation so I am here 
going to substitute v naught of s equal to here the i2 value this overall value into r2 so i am writing the equation again in terms of v1 of s r1 r2 here r2 so r2 c1 c2 less square the overall this value into this this is v naught of s for that this value every values then i am finding i want to find v naught of s divided by v i of s so v naught of s divided by v i of s so here i am coming uh, taking the v1 of s into denominator then remaining terms are my transfer function the term is my transfer function is r1 r2 c1 c2 s square divided by 1 plus r sorry 1 plus r1 r2 c1 c2 s square r1 c1 plus r1 c2 plus r2 c2 into s so i am here writing the s square s and constant term format so this is the simple steps once again repeat uh, we are going to find the transfer function for the electrical network then transfer function is v naught divided by vi in the laplace transform format so we are writing the first output equation in terms of laplace transform then i am writing the mess equation for that too then i am going to find the i2 of s so i2 of s in terms of vi of s so that we can find the transfer function easily. So I am reduced that I2 of s in terms of I1 of s, then I1 of s value I am here going to substitute within this equation, then I am finding I2 of s, then I substitute this I2 of s into here, then only I am get V0 of s in terms of VA of s, then I am finding transfer function V0 of s divided by VA of s. If you like this video, please share with your friends and ask them to subscribe. Thanks for watching.